Today we're here on a small creek in Idaho. Now this thing is chuck full of brook trout, cutties, rainbows. These fish are totally willing to come up and smack a dry fly. The only problem is they spook pretty easily. Before we talk about how to sneak up on them, there's two what we'll call fly fishing principles that we need to cover. Number one, fish face upstream. Fish are always hanging out in the current and that current acts like a conveyor belt, bringing food directly towards them. Number two, Fish see a lot, but not everything. Getting a little technical here, light only penetrates about 96 degrees of the water's surface. This creates what we call the trout surface window. The way light bends on the other 10 degrees, both in front and behind the fish, causes an underwater reflection. This creates a blind spot for the fish. If you've ever been in a swimming pool with goggles on and looked up, you've experienced this. So how can we use this to our advantage? Well, if fish are always facing upstream, it makes sense to approach them from behind. And since we know that a trout's viewing window is almost directly above them and that they have blind spots on either side, you should try to get as low as possible when you're approaching from behind. We hope these tips help you sneak up on some spooky fish the next time you're out. Tight lines.